Gotta love the Friday feed. The music gets you going and you know it means good stuff. It means that it's going to be a, a good thing ahead here. I got a text from Al saying you are going to love this, which again can only mean good things. Al awesome. Avier live this morning. Gumbo cook-off benefiting Oxner Lafayette General, uh, specifically the Breast Center. So Al, good morning. Hey, good morning, Alex. I tell you what, there is a great vibe out here. This is a cool event. Uh, you're going to want to rush over here because it's going to be a lot of fun. I have Dr. Shonda Grisby here, and you work with breast cancer patients. And tell us why this event is so important. This event is extremely important because it's raising money for our breast cancer patients and just for early detection. So what we're doing here is raising money to be able to provide screening mammograms to people who can't afford it in the community. It's a community benefit, and it's amazing that everybody's here this morning. It's a very vibrant vibe this morning. Everybody's excited, so come on out to the gumbo cook-off. If you haven't gotten your ticket, please get it. If not, you have $15 tickets at the door. Um, and if you want to come out and support us, if you, if, and if you can't, there is a uh, way to donate online to, to uh, breast cancer screenings uh, with mammograms. Dr. Grisby, there's a number, very easy number to remember. Let's talk about that. So I always tell people, if you have no way to sign up, sign up for your mammograms, and we always say, yes, ma'am. So that's 571-M-A-M-M. Say, yes, ma'am, for your mammogram, and call 571-M-A-M-M. You know, we talk about early detection a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, you hear it's important. Tell us why early detection is so important. It's, it's important because it's our best way to protect people or to, to catch something early and so that they have the best outcome. So essentially, catching something small is better than catching something before it gets away from you. Saves lives. So is there an age when a woman should start getting mammograms? Yes. If you are at average risk, meaning you have no family history, then we always tell people start at age 40 and get it every single year. Okay. My producer, Lauren, just yelled in my ear, and men. And men. Okay. Talk about that. So men are, um, do get breast cancer at a less degree, but um, I tell people if you feel a lump in the breast as a male, also a time to come in and get evaluated by either a breast surgeon or your primary care physician. Yep. Wow. Okay, producer Lauren, you're dead on. Very good. I, I, I think a lot of guys out there didn't know that. No, no they don't, but they should be aware of it. Um, it's not always going to be something not to worry about, so make sure you get checked out. And so I know women do breast self-exams, men too? Um, essentially they can. I mean, they'll have breast tissue over time, and so if they feel something and see something, bring it to somebody's attention. Dr. Grisby, Dr. Grisby. She makes this show educational, okay? I love that. Hey, look, we're going to go to Adam Olivier with the weather because Adam, he too makes the show educational. This is good info. we got to get her back.